A seven-year-old poodle has smelly back area. This is a Behind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. This video shows surgical procedures. Your discretion is advised. An owner brought his old female poodle in with a complaint of smelly and inflamed skin on the right backside area. The dog repeatedly bites this area causing skin infection. Another cause of the smell is due to an anal sac infection which leads to the anal sac being impacted with abnormal grey oil. This anal sac infection is uncomfortable thus the dog bites his backside area. This video will show the treatment including an anal sac expression. This video will be split into multiple parts. Part 1 is consultation and manual expression using tissue paper. Part 2 is checking for ringworm using ultraviolet light. Part 3 is manual expression using thumb and forefinger without gloves. Part 4 is digital expression using forefinger. And part 5 is washing the backside area. Anal sac infection part 1. Consultation and manual expression using tissue paper. 27th of August 2017. Okay, this is a Dr. Poodle, female, not, not split, 7 years old, adopted from the breeder, right? Now the main complaint is this one. Come. This time I noticed that this is a very smelly area and damp. Eh? And uh, according to the owner, it's only overnight. Mm. Yesterday only, right? And also, also uh, it's very itchy. Now, th there are many reasons for this one. Of course, there was an injury. And then I got infected, so the dogs start biting it. Huh? And uh, there's an infection here. It's because it's a hot spot where the skin is infected. Huh? There is one reason. The other reason, of course, is the inner sac, the oil glands, huh? which is swollen. And then the dogs doesn't feel, uh, it feels uncomfortable, so it starts to bite. Does it put the tail, rub, rub the, the back side on the floor? No, see so I will just check and see. Huh? I express it here. As you can see, the oil is thick. As you can see the thick oil. So it's, it, this could be one reason. It may not be the only reason. And uh, sometimes we need to put our finger in and and do the expression because uh, sometimes the inner sac is too in. Inner sac is too in, so we can't express all. Uh, so I will try to express from here first. But from my experience. In some dogs, in some dogs, the inner sac is so so far in uh, that the only way to do it is finger go in and express it to the side, express the, the inner sac up now. So I'll try. It. You can smell it. It's very smelly. Maybe the smell comes from there. Mm. Okay. So I'll just try and do it externally, do it externally, and uh, and there's definitely more than that. Yeah. This could be the smell you're talking to. The inner sex smell is very bad. Mm. Okay, so after that, so now we're gonna shave off, mm. and then I will go in and put the finger in and try and express it from inside. Mm. Oh, okay, finish. Another footage of manual expression of the anal sac using tissue paper. One more time. This is a manual expression. Four o'clock, eight o'clock. We did just now. We saw the video. It, it, it came up. I think. There's no much left here, no much left. Okay, ready. Okay. Then now Anal sac infection part 2. Checking for ringworm using ultraviolet light. Okay, this poodle, the complaint is very smelly area, which is here actually, uh, which is a hot spot. Uh, or it could be a ringworm infection. Uh. So go and get the ultraviolet light. So we just have a quick look. We have clipped the dog board already. And uh, you can see it's quite a big area said to develop overnight okay now one possibility of course is a ringworm infestation or just a simple bacterial inf infection the other possibility is the inner sac now just now you see the uh, earlier video we have expressed it already so now we will do the the okay switch our lights and then we will do the very fast one very fast one to see whether it's fluorescent or not that's a fast one Okay, no, okay, no, it's not. Okay. Anal sac infection part 3. Manual expression using thumb and forefinger without gloves. Okay, for inner sac infection, the best is, I think, pull up the tail and use the thumb and forefinger to express it. At 4 o'clock, this 4 o'clock, this 8 o'clock. Huh? 4 o'clock, 8 o'clock. 
because this is a clock. Imagine a clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. So 4 o'clock is where the inner set is, uh, is uh, present here, 4 o'clock, 8 o'clock. So you can see I did put the tail and I, I can see that just now the digital was not effective. Now I use my finger and this is the right side, the oil, oil comes out. This, this is one of the causes of itchiness. This part also is right side, as you can see. Now this is the right side. And uh, the best is use the finger. There you see, it seems to be right hand side more. Uh, more, more, more. You can't see, you see right? There are two glands left and right, so but this one is more the right side. Give me the paper and then clean up, show the owner. Yeah. Show the owner, so one more time. Wait, show the owner, go, go and show the owner. So uh, you, come, you come to go this side and see, uh, it's an intern here. Okay, now inner set problem is quite common in dogs. Uh. Now normally the 4 o'clock, 8 o'clock, but the inner is an oil, oil glands uh, for marking the character. So I pull up the, the best is, of course, some people they wear gloves. Uh, they, they don't want to have this smell, a very strong smell. So go in at 4 o'clock, 8 o'clock and express, you see. I did not know more, it's it quite thorough already. The paper, paper again. So you can see that this is the right hand side. You can see that it's the right hand side because you saw the oil coming out from the right. The divine will fall here. Yeah. Uh, so the left hand side, it has but not much. Normally you can feel the swelling but there's no swelling here. Okay, now it's easy to do because the dog is sedated. Normally the dog will scream. Yeah. And that's why the groomer doesn't want to do it. Okay. Now dig digital, you want to do digital, give me the glove now. Uh, digital digital of course you wear gloves. And uh, digital is the is the is the forefinger. Uh, digital of course if the person's finger is smaller it's better. Digital you have to use the forefinger uh, the index finger I mean. You can use a thumb, huh? Maybe. You can use thumb because thumb is not so good. So you just wear the glove because you don't want the oil to, to stain your hand very smelly. So you the glove. Probably the glove is fitting. Fitting. Where the glove is fitting. Okay. Now. Okay. So, of course, the smaller the index finger, the better. But, okay, so I'll go in. Inner set infection part 4 Digital expression using forefinger. In there, really go deep in, go deep in, and then you this way you must know your anatomy. Okay, so you know 8 o'clock first, I do 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock is here. I try and express. But of course now there's no more because of the of the just now it's an option already. This is the stool, this is the stool, this is not oil. Now this side. Then after that I go to this side. I go to this side video. I go to this side. The, the right hand side there. Then I I I still use my forefinger. I use my forefinger. And of course if the oil gland is swollen, I can feel it, but now there's nothing. So I will start express this way. Of course nothing. Now this is a shit now. I just express it this way. Then the, the gland is there. I express it, but nothing out, huh? Because this is the stools. Okay, finish. Demonstration finish. Anal sac infection part 5. Washing the back side area. We will just wash this area. And then uh, then the dog can go home really. Okay. Wash a hot spot area. Yeah. With uh, antifungal wash. Huh? Mm. Yeah, better. Or clock accident as I can. Let the table up, table up. Lots of water wash. Mm. Yeah, just table up. For the water to flow into the into the drain, yeah. Okay, a bit yeah. A bit can really the water to flow in the drain. Yeah, just just pour the water and just rock very hard, yeah. How you get a hot spot, we don't know. It's, it's quite surprising. Yeah. 
No, just you know, just rub very hard, yeah. That's it. Okay. Treatment is finished. In conclusion, anal sac infection can cause itchiness in the backside area due to the oil being retained in the anal sac for too long, leading to the dog biting at the backside area as it is too itchy. For more information, call us at the following numbers, email us at the following address, or visit us at topayovets.com. Be kind to pets, veterinary educational videos, Dr. Sing Kong Yuan, BVMS, Glasgow, MRCVS, Consultant Vet, Royal Asia Veterinary Surgery, Yangon, Myanmar, Dr. Daniel Sing Chong Chen, BSE, BVMS, Murdoch.